Hi, I'm Jordan Klepper. You're not gonna say my name? I was I leaving it, that was a space for you to say your name. I'm Roy Wood Jr. We're gonna break down some of our classic field pieces that Jordan and I have done together. In and a uh, segment we call... We're gonna look at some of our old field pieces in a segment we call... Constructive... Criticism. Constructive-ish criticism. criticism. Are we settled on that name? Feels like it. So this is your first piece, right? Yeah. This piece was about anti-bias training that was happening in Madison, Wisconsin in the wake of them shooting an unarmed black person. Mm -hmm. So we decided to sit down with some cops to see why they're Racist. under attack. We added a bit of choreography to the top. Can we rewind to the top? The choreography of the intro, something not often done in Daily Show pieces. But I think the confidence of somebody who's been on the show before, doesn't have any other opportunities, and is still on the show, Look someone like myself. In. Look how I merge in and help you, because mm -hmm. you were just doing okay. And then I came in and just took it next level. Right there, that's, see that? Uh -huh. That's that earnest turn. That's earnest confusion you have on your face right now. That's true, because that was the first take and I did not know what you were gonna do. So we sat down with former NYPD detective and Fox News contributor Bo Deedle to get the definitive answer. It's a tough question to ask, Bo. Are police racist? No. It's good enough for me. I'm satisfied. We're good here. <laughs> this guy was a work of art, Bo oh. Deedle. It was like, I want, we need to talk to somebody who would support the police and show no empathy. And it's like, well, why don't we call up an old school New York police officer? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, let's go get a black guy and beat him to death. That's not what's going on there. I think I did pretty good, man. I sat down with a white dude who said some semi-racist stuff and I held my own. Yeah, I mean, Bo Deedle, ex-cop, feels relevant still. I wasn't talking about Bo Deedle. Okay. Oh. Uh, here's the guy that really made the piece. Perhaps the best voiceover joke written in The Daily Show. Not surprisingly, there's a program that Nerdy Suge Knight developed which trains police officers to de-link bias from their decision making. Nerdy Suge Knight. Fucking nailed it. I remember, earnestly, this was your first piece and you chose to have a tie that wasn't all the way up and I wondered if that was a stylistic choice. I didn't quite know if you were crafting a character. I think I've realized you don't put that much effort into your work, so it must have just been something you stumbled upon. That felt like a criticism and not, it wasn't very constructive. Constructive-ish. This was not ish. Now this is the video. These are the right. sample videos that you watch when you're trying to make a decision. The real life situations that test your ability to not act on assumptions of race. Is that even a real bulletproof vest? It does look like a panty liner for your chest. Empire joke coming up. Three, two, two one. one. Hey, hey, hey what, what are you doing? What? Bias ass. That's Empire. There was like a 20 minute conversation of, okay, which black show could he point a gun at and not get canceled? I do believe Oprah was one of the options. I think I shot it? down shooting down Oprah. Correct. I still stand by that was a smart call. So those are all actual officers um, of Madison PD. And the drill was for us to show up and decide Why? what was happening with the information we had at hand. No <laughs> yeah. matter what, okay. you just would say the wrong thing. Is everything okay in here? Excuse me, get away from the woman. Get away from the woman. Get down, get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. Get down on the ground. I'll give you credit. This was your first piece, but you you knew how to cut it down with a look. You had a good TV look. You know, I don't even think the faces I'm giving you in this piece are even acting at this point. I'm sorry about him, Officer Prado. But look at that hairline. I oh my it. God, how amazing. I'm like 40 years that, younger. That boy, handsome. Those are the eyes of someone who's never been to a Trump rally. The double chin is barely there. It doesn't have to be hidden by a beard. How do these pieces compare? You've had probably the most interesting evolution from correspondent to special contributor. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting if, to look at it like that. Here's me doing a piece with another person. Fast forward to me doing a piece without another person and an Emmy nomination. And you try to connect those. And I don't, I, I don't know I don't know what it was. Why do you have to say Emmy nomination? But I'm just saying, those, you know, they've tried this where to. two people do a piece. And what's fun about it is I have so much success when I just do a piece. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when we come for you? With this shot I was very nervous about. You in the back of a police car? This whole piece is about black people getting fucked with the image you? of a black man <laughs> behind bars. And I was like, please, Father God, don't let me have let down 
all those black people and Gail King. Do you think I let down white people doing this piece? No, nah, you probably gained some. That's probably why you're so safe at them Trump rallies. <laughs> it's all this shit. Find your audience, man. Play to it. Well, you know what, man? It's been fun constructively criticizing you. Mm -hmm. And I got you a gift. It's been a great seven years of working with you. And I just wanted you to have that. Look at this. As a token of remembrance. This is our oh. first shoot. A highly pixelated, low-res photo of our first time together. That's for you. I think, thank you. That's for you. I got a gift for you. Okay. This is a picture from our first ever field shoot. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a picture of uh, wow. you. The next name is the best ever do it. <laughs> wow, thanks man. You could have at least taken a price tag off the back. Yeah, you're not wrong. Can I say one thing? How good a job is Roy Wood Jr. Yeah. Oh, stop it. I want to say, stop it. Look at this, stop it. Look at this. Stop it. I'm going to. You're a mean man. I'm going to take it. I'm going to say one thing. I was here in the John days. I remember I was here when Roy got brought on and the first field piece uh, we got to do together. Um, and that I remember, racism. do you remember that yeah. one? <laughs> yeah, the police reform, the police, uh, police. It was police bias training. Yeah, it was taking place training. in uh, Wisconsin, yeah. right? And Roy Wood Jr. Is, is, is funny like that. That's not a problem. But he's also one of the hardest working people in comedy I have ever met. And I remember that day. You wanted to study how it was done, you put in the work, you put in the effort, uh, and you're as kind as can be. And I think all those things you don't see because you make it look so easy. And so it's just a, it's a testament to hard work and, and being a good person, uh, the success that these shows have had. So it's, uh, as a fan of The Daily Show, getting to watch you do this is great. Roy Wood Jr. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Get that third act.